Meth destroys lives. That's a message you're going to hear a lot more in the coming months. Mothers Against Methamphetamines, also known as MAMA, is getting ready to launch an attention-grabbing television campaign across Central Florida. On February 15, 2007, the Lake Region High School students teamed up with Bright House Networks, a professional makeup artist from Universal Studios, the High Definition TV crew fresh from the Daytona 500, and Mothers Against Methamphetamine, also known as MAMA, to create three groundbreaking public service announcements that will be aired on Bright House Networks. Uh, the Bright House people are really cool. They're really good people to work with because um, they knew that we wrote these PSAs that we wanted them to be a certain way. And so with everything they did, they asked us final confirmation and, and we, we helped them set up the shots. We told them what was good, what we wanted, what wasn't good, uh, especially with like the lighting on a few scenes. Um, we, me and Matt would be like, we, uh, we think a green gel would work. And they'd throw green gel up and it would actually look really well. And um, they would always make sure it was what we wanted because it was like it's our brainchild. And so they went with final confirmation with us with everything. Okay, you have to pick up crap all day long. That's what we do. We're the grunts. Sweet. We're the stars. You're you're brilliant. Keep that. It's working for you. <laughs> One of the major things that came out of it was that Libby saw the public service announcement we made last year with the car crash. <laughs> When Libby found out about that, she decided that we were the perfect match for uh, the public service announcements for meth. I recognized it right away as a really good opportunity for my students to get involved with a professional organization such as Bright House and uh, see how um, they, the big boys actually do it. We had a meeting with them and they came out and spoke with uh, our students and really bonded well with them as far as understanding um, what the kids had in mind. Uh, we had gone so far as to storyboard all of our ideas and put them down and they liked the storyboards very much and decided that they were going to shoot actually three of our public service announcements simultaneously on one particular day. I remember back when Mr. Sparling had uh, asked me to do these, I was a little intimidated at first but thanks to the help from uh, Gilbert and Matt, I was able to really get a good idea of what I was going to draw. So. My job was already half done, kind of. I still had to imagine some of it, but really, because they had such a great vision in their mind already, it was really just putting their ideas on the paper. We were looking for, you know, stories and stuff, and, you know, really trying to research about how people feel when, you know, family members do it too, because we want to have an outside view on how people feel about when people do it. Students were put to work by helping transport equipment to the areas where the PSAs were taking place. With the help of the staff of Bright House, students got the opportunity to learn many of the tools used in this business. I know we got to go with the stuff. Took advantage of it being, you know, a once in a lifetime experience and talked to the guys at Bright House about how to work different shots, like uh, the fade away shot and the zoom in shot when you fade away. We had probably three trucks worth of equipment there. We had a lighting truck, we had a camera crew truck, um, we actually got a catering place set up. We had the donation of a motor home for use for breaks as well as for the prosthetic artists that I brought in from Universal Studios. And all these people donated their time. Once they found out that the high school was involved and that it was for public service and once they understood a little bit more about meth, and the dangers that it does and the destruction that it does for people's lives. These people just jumped right on board with it. They volunteered their time. We shot for over 10 hours that day. Students learned the process and techniques of a professional film shoot by helping set up dolly rails, lights, cameras, and audio equipment. The rails turn out to be like a thousand pounds each, but uh, you know, I helped move those and um, we set up the shot so that the camera this guy would uh, crouch down and push it along as the director sat and watched the camera angle. 
and they'd zoom in the shot. It was really cool to watch. I learned a lot about lighting. I mean, the guy, main guy for the lighting took me aside and showed me about different gels and different colors for different times of day. If You Love Me is about a girl who's tempted by her boyfriend to try meth for the first time. The crew shot many different takes and angles. Technical difficulties and delays did not stop them from their goal. All right, guys, let's roll through this. The day of the shoot, actually, Gilbert and I assistant directed the uh, all three of the the PSAs that we shot. My student directors, uh, Gilbert Bowen and Matt Lombardi, just did a spectacular job as far as keeping it all together. The script reads with the cast going through and making sure that everyone was where they needed to be, from everything down to moving equipment and you know helping light, helping you know, coach the actors through the whole process. Like, I learned, like, how they did all that stuff, because I've never been on an actual shoot for anything. So it was, like, definitely like, a different experience. There's this guy named Ryan, and he was so cool because he was, like, I don't know how old he was, but he could relate to being a kid, I guess, and he just would talk to me, and I'd ask him questions, and I'd be like, sorry for asking you so many questions. He said, no, it's cool. And so I just asked him how to do different things and what it meant to be a producer and what a director did. I wrote the couch PSA, which is about a boy, and um, he's in this room by himself. But he has like these, these past memories are coming to him, like his parents, his girlfriend, um, his like druggy friends, and it's just like how his memories are haunting him, and he's by himself in this like room, and you can sort of see like his memories, but they're kind of faded. So you get the idea that like these are like ghosts almost like and it's just completely bothering him. The poem is actually the story of a girl who loses her brother to meth and uh, her journey along the way to try to to save him from this deadly drug. There's some students that I've learned to depend on. Ben Crow is one of them. He was there. He's going to be one of our up and coming people here. Uh, he'll be a senior editor, I'm sure. Well, one day Mr. Sparling approached me. He asked me if I'd like to take part in the meth PSAs. And the storyboards were already written. I went over them and I just told him I'd be thrilled. And from there, he asked me what I wanted to do specifically. I told him I wanted to help out with tech and just be there to help do anything I could do. And I was. You know, those people helped it develop their skills so dramatically in just one day, just to see how everything is done, how it's done professionally, and why things have to be so prepared and so ready to go because of the time and the expense and all the equipment involved. It's um, really just an unbelievable experience for a high school student to be involved in something of that, of that stature this earlier on. Me and Matt edited the uh, PSAs for use in the video awards and we're gonna ship off the PSAs as well to um, Bright House. On these PSAs, we use a combination of uh, Final Cut Pro, uh, After Effects, and Photoshop to really get the blended feel that we got and to cut very well between the, the three programs and work with them all together. The uh, greatest hook is that it, they were written by high school students. They were produced by high school students, and professionals got together with those students and helped develop this. And that's the beauty behind it. That's the real message, is these are students trying to help students. I'm trying to help people and uh, it was just a real pleasure to be involved with.